Krishnahari Om Sri Ram Jai Ram Jai Jai Ram Om Sri Ram Jai Ram Om Sri Ram Jai Ram Jai Jai Ram Om Sri Ram Jai Ram Jai Jai Ram Om Sri Ram Jai Ram Jai Jai Ram Oh, Sri Ram, Jai Ram, Jai Jai Ram. 
This is being emphasized by Kabir Das in one of his bhajans. He says, Guru Krupa Anjana Payo Mere Bhai Rama Bina Kachu Dekatanahi. Once you get the Diksha from the Guru, you will see everything in this world, in this universe, as Ram. Atnyanati Mirantasya Jnananjana Shalakaya Atnyanati Mirantasya Jnananjana Shalakaya Chakshurun Militam Yena Chakshurum militam yena Tasmai Sri Gurave Nama Gurave Nama Jnana Gurave Nama Loka Gurave Nama Mama Gurave Nama Gurave Namaha Namaha Guru Krupa Anjan Payo Mere Bhai Guru Krupa Anjan Guru Krupa Anjan Payo Mere Bhai Rama Bina Kachu Dekhat Nai Rama Bina Rama Bina Raja Rama Bina Sita Rama Bina Kachu Dekhat Nai Rama Bina Raja Rama Bina Rama Bina Kachu Dekat Nai Guru Kripa Anjana Payo Mere Bhai Guru Kripa Under Rama, Baher Rama, Under Rama, 
अंदर रामा बाहर जहा देखे वहा पूरण कामा जहा देखे वहा पूरण कामा जहा देखे वहा पूरण कामा राम बिना कच्चू दे कतनाई राम बिना गुरु कृपा अंजन पायो मेरे भाई गुरु कृपा जागत रामा सोवत रामा जागत रामा जागत रामा सोवत रामा जा जागत रामा सोवत सपन में देखत राजा रामा सपन में सपन में देखत राजा रामा कहत कबीरा अनुभवनी कहत कबीरा अनुभवनी का जहाँ देखे वहाँ राम शरीर का जहाँ देखे वह राम शरीर का गुरु कृपा अंजन पायो मेरे भाई गुरु कृपा श्री राम बिना कछु दे कतनाई राम बिना गुरु कृपा अंजन गुरु कृपा अंजन गुरु कृपा अंजन पायो मेरे भाई राजा राम सीता राम राजा राम राजा राम सीता राम राजा राम जय जय राम जय जय राम Raja Ram Sita Ram, Raja Ram Sita Ram, Jai Jai 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 Ram, Sita Ram, Jai Jai Ram, Sita Ram, Jai Jai Ram, Ha, Sita Ram, Jai Jai Ram. 
Today's Ashirvajanam is by Mahadevaki of uh, Shri Yogi Ragi, Yogi Ram Surat Kumar Ashram in Tirunavali. soulful, endless salutations to beloved Papa Ramdas, Mataji Kishabhai, Swami Sachidananda Ji Maharaj and Swami Muktananda Ji Maharaj. At the very mention of the word Anandashtam, my Guru Bhagavan, Yogi Ram Sarikumar, eyes would fill up and his voice would choke. 27th December. It's a golden day, unforgettable day for me, because I received special blessings from Papa Ramdas. It was way back in 1986, during Christmas holiday, I had come to Ramanashram. The Darshan of Ramana Bhagavan Samadhi. And there I came to know about the living master of Tiruvannamalai at that time, Yogi Ram Sarikumar. So two friends of mine and I went in the morning and again in the evening and the next day again in the morning and again in the evening and again the third day in the morning. Five times we made attempts to have Darshan, but every time we met with a locked door. We did not get Darshan at all. Though it was frustrating, for me the longing grew so much I just could not leave Tiruvannamalai without having the Rishnam Bhagavan, Yogi Ram Sarikuma. So we made one final attempt the last day, the evening, and that was the time the house was open and I met 
my master Yogi Ram Sarat Kumar for the first time. The impact was great and glorious. And I had a very deep, beautiful experience in the presence of Shiyogi. It was unforgettable. The impact of which lasted for nearly a week. And much later, I learned that it was 27th December, the Sanyas day of Papa Ramdas. Surely, this day was chosen for my first darshan of Yogi Ram Sarit Kumar by the Divine Papa Ramdas and my own master, Yogi Ram Sarit Kumar. I owe a deep debt of gratitude to Papa Ramdas, beloved Papa Ramdas, for his initiation into the first darshan with special presence. After that, of course, I had to go through many, many changes, many trials and tribulations. The seven years that followed, and then the tutelage of Sri Yogiji. And two times, Sri Yogiji asked me to go to Anandashtam. The first time, I had gone to see Mataji Krishabhai. It was a tremendous moment for me because as soon as he saw her, I felt a sense of familiarity and so did she. She smiled, her beautiful smile and said, have we met before? What a blessing. When I sought her blessings for my spiritual growth, at the feet of Sri Yogiji, she asked me, what do you want? Inspired by her divine presence and already my experience with Sri Yogiji, spontaneously I spoke without thinking, Mataji, I want to be like you, serving the Master. She smiled. She even exchanged a look with Swami Sachidananji and both smiled. And it was then she started the description of this Kundalini Yoga. At the end of which I sought her blessings. And you know what she said? You will have Papa's blessings. So again, I had the blessings of Papa Ramdas and the addition of Papa Ramdas in the form of Mataji Krishabhai and Swami Sachidananda Maharaj. I think just before Mataji's Mahasamadhi, probably early 1989, I went to Sanadi Street House and begged my master, Yogi Ram Sarat Kumar, to permit me and come and stay in Tiruvannamalai permanently. He said, Ananda Ashram is this beggar's ashram. Ananda Ashram is your ashram. Go to Ananda Ashram. He came a bit of a shock to me because I was hoping all the time he would allow me to stay on in Thiruvannamalai. So I pleaded. I said, Bhagavan, your holy feet, your lotus feet are my Ananda Ashram. Please let me stay here. He said, no, you have to go to Ananda Ashram. It was a command. Of course, I I would love to go to Ananda Ashram any time. But somehow, because of the conversation, 
I thought, okay, I'll go to Ananda Ashram, pray to Papa Ramdas, Mataji Krishna. They would grant me my wish. So it was with this determination I went to Ananda Ashram. And Mataji was now bedridden. Her beautiful, smiling face looked a little different at this time. And yet, I prayed to Papa Ramdas and Mataji Krishnambara that I should be allowed to stay in Thiruvannamalai near my master. And of course, I had their blessings because it came to pass. I feel so blessed, so, so, so blessed for this great gift of praise from the Trinity, Papa Ramdas, Mataji Krishna Bhai, and Swami Sachidanandaji, to recall and reminisce those great years of blessings. I owe a debt of gratitude to Swami Sachidanandaji Maharaj for giving me this great opportunity to share my feelings with the devotees, my salutations once again to Swami Muktananda Ji Maharaj and Anandashram, the whole of Anandashram. Jai Uriya. Probably the words would not have been clear or audible. For, uh, for our sake, we would like to give a synopsis of uh, what Devaki Amma shared with us. At the very mention of the word Anandashram, my Guru, Bhagavan Yogi Ram Surumar's eyes fill up and his voice would choke. 27th December is a golden day, an unforgettable day for me because I received special blessings from Papa Swami Ramdas. It was way back, way back in 1986, during the Christmas holidays, I had come to Ramanashram for darshan of Ramana Bhagavan Samadhi. There I came to know about the living master of Tirvanamari at that time, Yogi Ram Surat Kumar. So friends of mine and I went to have darshan. But every time we met with a locked door, Though it was frustrating for me, the longing grew so much that I just could not leave Trivannamalai without having the darshan of Yogiji. So we made one final attempt on the last day in the evening and at that time the house was open and I met my master Yogiji for the first time. I had a very deep, beautiful experience in the presence of Sri Yogiji, the impact of which lasted for nearly a week. Much later I learned it was the sannyas day of Papa Swami Ramdas. Surely this day was chosen for my first darshan of Yogi Ram Surat Kumar by the divine Papa Swami Ramdas. I owe a deep debt of gratitude to beloved Papa for his initiation into the first darshan with special blessings. And of that, of course, I had to go through many, many changes, many trials, many tribulations. The seven years that followed under the tutelage of uh, Yogiji, and two times Yogiji asked me to go to Anandashram. The first time I had gone to see Mataji Krishnabhai, it was a tremendous moment for me because as soon as I saw her, I felt a sense of familiarity, and so did she. When I sought her blessings for my spiritual growth, at the feet of Sri Yogiji, she asked me, what do you want? Spontaneously, I spoke without thinking. Mataji, I, would be, uh, I want to be like you, serving the master. She smiled and she even exchanged a look with Swami Sachidanandaji and both smiled. It was then that she started the description of Kundalini Yoga, at the end of which I sought her blessings. She said, you have Papa's blessings. So again, I had the blessings of Papa Ramdas, Darshan of Papa Ramdas in the form of 
Mataji Krishna Bhai and Swami Sachidananda Ji. I think just before Mataji's Mahasamadhi, probably early in 1989, I went to Sanidhi Street House, begged my masters, Yogi Ram Surat Kumar, to permit me and come and stay in Thiruvannamari permanently. He said, Ananda Ashram is the beggar's ashram. Is this beggar's ashram? Ananda Ashram is your ashram. Go to Ananda Ashram. Ananda Ashram is this beggar's ashram. Yogiji always addresses him as beggar. No? Ananda Ashram is your ashram. Go to Ananda Ashram. It came like a bit of shock to me because I was hoping all the time that he would allow me to stay on in Thiruvannamali. So I pleaded. I said, Bhagavan, your holy feet, your lotus feet are my Ananda Ashram. Please let me stay here. He said, no, you have to go to Ananda Ashram. It was a command. I thought, okay, I will go to Ananda Ashram, pray to Papa Ramdas, Mataji Krishna Bhai. They will grant me my wish. So it was with this determination that I went to Ananda Ashram. And Mataji was now bedridden. Her beautiful, uh, smiling face looked a little different this time. Yet I prayed to Papa Ramdas and Mataji that I should be allowed to stay in Thiruvannamalai near my master. And of course, I had their blessings because it came to pass. I feel so blessed. I feel blessed, so blessed, so. So blessed for the great gift of grace from the trinity of Papa Ramdas, Mata, Mother Krishna Bhai and Swami Sachidananda Ji to recall and reminisce about those great years of blessings. Hari Om. Uh, we will now try to hear Brahma Mukate. Puja Swamiji yesterday specifically said, you should play it when I am there. <laughs>
We have heard a beautiful bhajan. You might be knowing that it was sung by a small boy, Rahul. No? What is his name? No. With all love, with all devotion. Eh? And Surya, Surya Gayatri. But we should not forget about the meaning. No? Brahman is one, the Supreme Spirit is one. Rhythm, syllables, and the words expressing joy. Next. There are no difference of high and low. Sri Hari is the indwelling spirit to one and all. All the beings in creation are one. The sleep of the king is similar to the sleep of the ordinary. Mm. The earth which a noble Brahmin lives is similar to the earth where an untouchable, so-called untouchable lives. The sun shines equally on an elephant and on a lowly street dog. For the virtuous and the vicious alike, saviour of the sacred name of Sri Venkateshwara. Everything has been covered. Brahma Mukate, you know, everywhere there is only Brahman, Brahman. Yesterday, during our satsang, Puja Swamiji was making a mention about divinize your life, spiritualize your life. No? All these words, you know, how do we do that? So in order to give a boost to that words, so that it will percolate into our thinking system, now, this, is, this has also been facilitated so that we will understand more and more, so that in our, we will not try, we will try not to see the duality. We will try, you know, we may fail, hundred times, thousand times we may fail, but we keep on trying. I have heard this. I must try, I must try. Hari Om.